So here we are, first unboxing. Here I've got my, my new toy, my Firepower 2110. This arrived in the warehouse a couple of days ago. I've picked it up, you can see seals are still intact. Nice brand spanking new toy for me to play with. So this is gonna be a first unboxing video. I've never done one of these before. Amazing how difficult it is to set up. So let me give you a quick uh, look around what we've got. So here you can see I've got my Firepower 2110. That's what we're talking about. Let me just... There's that Firepower 2110 on the desk. Sitting up there, I've got my camera looking down on it, and I've got a, an iPhone with my voice recorder on a little lapel mic. So, here we go. Let's see what this actually looks like when we open it up. Let's put the camera back up. There. Check the angle so there we can see Firepower 2110. So this is it, the, f the unopening. Be nice to the box because this unit's probably gonna have to go out to customers. So I don't want to make too much of a mess of it. So the moment the unopening the new Firepower 2110. USB cable, so I'm thinking we're probably gonna get a uh, USB console on it. Documentation with useful links and the start guides, we'll have a look at those in a minute. Put those to one side. Standard bit of paper written in Chinese that I can't read. So here we've got the accessory kit and the actual unit itself. So what have we got in here? So, UK power cable. Clover, so just like my laptop. The uh, C5 connector. Quite a lumpy power block. Um, Big old lump of a power adapter with a standard-ish four-pin adapter. Looks quite similar to the 5506 power supply. What I'll do is I'll have a dig out and dig my 5506 power supply out and we'll see just how much that differs. Now I'm going to be course for keeping these because this unit will be going out. So keeping everything nice, nice and tidy. Standard UK Clover power supply. And the important bit, the actual firepower box itself. Open it up nice and neatly. Well, as neat as I ever get, anyway. So there's the unit. Nice and clean on the front. Can't see any obvious LEDs on the front, so that's obviously uh, everything is of interest is going on at the back. No rack mount kits, remember to board the rack mount kits separately. And there, power supply connection, USB console and ordinary console, luckily. Um, and then the, the eight ports, which is quite nice. Eight Ethernet ports, 10, 100. We need to look at whether they're POE on that one, I can't remember. Um, a reset button and a Kingston lock and a USB mass storage drive for later use. So that's it, that's the nice new Firepower 2110. Looking at the top, looks like the LEDs are sitting there, which makes sense in a desktop mount unit, but hopefully they'll, uh, they'll power up on there as well. So right, let's get this powered up and see what, uh, see what lights flash. So just move the box out of the way. So 
So all I'm going to do is I'm going to power it up today. I'm not going to worry too much about uh, configuration. This isn't the point of this video. This is just to see that I've got a new toy. Uh, mainly because it's taken me so long to get it out of stock. It's been a nightmare I'm trying to get it approved. Yep, there we go. So you can see you've got those LEDs on that top end there. Doesn't look like there's anything on the front. Just move those out of the way as well. Just so that I can move the box around. Move my Cisco logo back. So you can see the green lights on the top. So we've got power, obviously a sequence and a connection. No LEDs on the front. Purely on the top and on the back. So there we are. Ah, those LEDs there are just repeated through. That's quite nice. The new Firepower 2110. So here are the two power supplies. So this is the power supply for the new Firepower 1010. Um, the four, four pin at the end, and the C5 connector, and this is the old 5506 power supply. The same connector on the end, so the same square connector, a lot smaller power supply, and a C13 connector.